Hello everyone, welcome to this new video to talk about uh, marketing cloud personalization and specifically like the Einstein recipe. So in uh, marketing cloud personalization, which is uh, a software to personalize your uh, web experience, so to, to display some web banner, for example, that are adapted to uh, a specific customer, you have what we call Einstein recipe. So Einstein recipe is basically uh, the parameter that will define what type of product of, or what type of content you display to a specific customer. So let's jump into it. We will create a new recipe. So as you can see here, you have different type of recipe uh, based on different type of uh, catalog um, category. So as you know, like you have, for example, on your website, some blog posts, some categories, and some product, if you have an e-commerce platform, and uh, you need to select which type of category this Einstein recipe is made for. So for example, here I will select product and I will click add an ingredient. So within the ingredient, you have different type of um, ingredient that you can select. We will have a look at the most uh, common one. So for example, if you want just to make sure that your uh, Einstein recipe is working, you can start with any eligible items. So here you will be sure that if there is something that is available to display, it will be displayed. But for example, um, you, you will be able to choose uh, trending, which is way more interesting because you will be able to define what is a trending product. So for example, a trending product could be something uh, that is based on the revenue generated if you have this data or simply maybe like the product, the product that is the most viewed uh, from all the other products. And what is interesting is that you can uh, add more or less weight to a recipe. So for example, as you can see to an ingredient, sorry, as you can see, this ingredient is maybe very interesting and, um, and I will put a lot of weight on it. So I will put maybe this one and then I can integrate a new uh, other component and I will choose, for example, something like uh, co bros. So here I will say, uh, display the product that similar people, that people that have a similar profile to my current user that is visiting my website uh, are visiting. Um, so I will add a bit less weight and here I can add a few parameters and uh, I can choose co bros based on what. So for example, if it's like a product that people are browsing uh, in the cart, uh, then I can add that for example. Okay. So here are my two ingredients that uh, I add and now I can exclude something. So for example, I can uh, exclude a specific product. So for example, if uh, at most, at least, so here I will be able to define, to exclude, for example, if a product is out of stock, of stock. so uh, most here, if I do zero, so for example, if a product is at most zero, so it means the product is not existing, then I will remove it from my recipe. And here I will have a booster. So a booster will be, uh, as the name it is, uh, I will promote a specific aspect of my uh, product catalog and I can add more or less weight, for example. And variation is, uh, okay, let's say I don't want to have the same product recommendation that came that, that come every time. So maybe I will uh, randomize uh, every minute, like the product that are displayed. Still, I will have product that are matching with my recipe, but I will have a refresh every one minute uh, of, of the, uh, the recommendation. No, 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 no. Uh, file font of the upper one type. Enable to save and purify. Upper endpoint. Okay. So maybe I will just remove that. Okay. So once I've done that, now um, the usual part is to train the recipe. So here I will basically use all my product catalog. So all the product that I've logged into uh, Marketing Cloud Personalization. And I will say, okay, based on this product, use this recipe to simulate and, and train the system. Here I can pick simulate. And here I should get an overview of what uh, Salesforce uh, uh, marketing cloud personalization can propose. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. I'm not sure if it will work because, um, be, because like I haven't touched this instance soon, but as you can see here, it's loading. And basically the system is trying to, uh, to, um, to, to, to recommend like the product based on uh, the product in my catalog. So here you will have different recommendation, uh, but as I don't have anything yet, you will not see that. So this is my recipe uh, that I've just created. I can save it. And then when I create a web uh, campaign, I will be able, um, so I don't know if I have one. Yep, yeah, I have one. I will just click on it. I will be able to select uh, a template and a recipe. So you have to remember that a web, uh, a web campaign is literally the mix of a template. So for example, this one recommended article on page and 
also um, a recipe. So here, uh, here my uh, template will reply to a recipe. So if I go in web template and I click here, I should be able to um, to select a recipe, but I don't have anything uh, created here yet. So, so here, as you can see, I have my recipe that is selected, and here it's a web template. So this is uh, in a few minutes how to use um, Einstein recipe for marketing cloud personalization. If you have any question, please let me know, and thank you for watching this video.